morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Monday, Monday, March 13, 313 2023. Numerology, guys. Don't know how that works out. But anyway, it's been a wild night. I, it's been a wild night. I kind of wish that I was over there with you all so I could have been asleep through the whole thing because I've literally been watching this and listening to it. I'm leaving you here and starting you off with the website. It's financialjuice.com. Nothing to sign up for if you don't want to. If you do, there's nothing you got to go through as far as any credit card details, any kind of payment. They have here what's called Tick Strike. You can use it for the S&P 500, Euro, Dollar, Oil, Bitcoin, S&P 500 you want. Click on the icon here on the speaker and you have your volume. I'm not running the volume on this now, but you'll get used to it. You've also got your news over here. Again, same thing. Click on your speaker. You've got your news. You will get all of your headlines that will come across constantly for all breaking news. And I'm stuck here because right here, 2.48 in the morning, Sky News, Ed Conway said, Silicon Valley Bank's UK subsidiary has been sold to HSBC. Okay, so it was being rescued, right? It was right there. And the futures just ate it essentially filled the gap not completely but they essentially filled the gap this was an amazing overnight run everything was going great everything was fantastic news came out eu was open they said fuck you yanks we're rug pulling you motherfuckers man that is a big move to the downside virtually 90 points two and a half percent move so again prepped you out in the weekend video prepping you here in the morning email and what you'll see here over here on spy your pre-market highs came right to that 200 day moving average 100 day moving average has crossed above the 200 which is not as significant as what you've got over on the nasdaq but still it gave us this very good clue of a strike that you want to be looking at during the course of this week if you really are going to eat into that whole concept that is really intriguing me over the weekend saying that it it's starting to really lean strongly to say the full moon bottomed now we'll get proof here in the next day or two today tomorrow you got a lot happening here but right there around that 393 that's your spot that we're really looking for and we can start saying yes definitely is once we get back up there, like I showed earlier, above that 50-day moving average, back to what was the old support, we've got more clues. QQQ, again, same thing. Bullish cross coming over here on QQQ at some point this week. The 50 crossing over the 200. That's big. 100-day moving average way down below. But you've got this big, big 286.10 down here below. Very, very, very big Fibonacci cluster down here at 286. We played off that quite a bit. You guys remember me discussing it back in February when we were looking forward to this drop. Again, here on the QQQ, looking for something in this area here of around 294 to give us a confirmation. Now, I haven't looked at this as of yet, but here you've got a candle at 297.10 at 4 o'clock in the morning. Fake print? Very much so but something definitely to be considering because as you know, above that 294, we're looking at that 296.60 area. So again here, bringing you onto the dollar. And as we had that big move last week with the dollar spiking, the dollar has been falling off and falling off. And a lot of that had to do with all of this mishigosh that's happening with these banks. But we're now resisting right at that support level from going back two weeks three weeks. So very, very difficult scenario to go ahead out here and throw out a very strong confirmation saying, yes, this is undoubtedly taking place. Yes, it's happening. Yes, we're doing it. But again, one of those really strong factors that's kicking in for me is how we were here at 2884 for two one minute candles. Middle of the afternoon there on Friday, 1.30, 152 o'clock, and then just sold off almost right back to that 2371. Overnight, a little bit of a gap, 
And now because of what's happened here with the EU, we've had a spike back to this 28. Now this 28 showed it to you there in your charts or in your email. This is your 50 retracement to the 2022 lows or highs right there at 28. So a lot of significance taking place here. It's OPEX week. It's not only OPEX week. It's quad witching OPEX week. We know we got the JP Morgan collar. That's undoubtedly going to be our limit for upside without any shadow of a doubt. But we got a lot happening here and a lot taking place. So no overexposure in any way, shape or form until we start getting some confirmation saying yes, yes, yes. And then we can look forward all the way to April 6th with what we're looking at. So have a fantastic morning. I'll be in the chat room around 8 o'clock, 8.30. And man, I am not looking forward to daylight savings time taking an hour away from you. And then you have to go through this on the very first day. Oh, feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Kindergarten Cop. Catch you guys in the chat.